what do you think about the impact of the CRPD in Europe? I think it's day and night, mm -hmm. because prior to the CRPD, <clears throat> the issue of human rights and disability really ranked very low on the agenda, mm -hmm. both at European level and right across member states. And as a good example of that, prior to ratification, only three EU member states had action, national action plans. Mm -hmm. Now all of them do, which is a direct result of ratification. I'm not saying they're all great or they're all implemented evenly, mm -hmm. but it's created a new, um, a new playing field. Um, it's what created what I call a new politics of disability. Mm -hmm. It's allowing for new methods of co-production between civil society and government of disability policy, which is very healthy, and it's allowed civil servants, um, senior policy makers, to feel permission to innovate, to think differently, and to base their policy discussions on completely different premises. Um, and also, substantively, it's had huge impact. For example, the EU structural funds have been completely overhauled in 2013 to make sure that your tax euros, my tax euros, your tax kroner, sorry, <laughs> um, get spent on the right things, which is helping states engage in transition toward community care and closing down institutions. Um, so yeah, massive impact overall.